Hey everybody, and welcome to Genesis Day 5 of Creation. I'm Daniel Ruiz, and this is my companion right here, uh, Angel. He's a beta fish, and he's going to be accompanying me on this uh, episode today. We're going to read Genesis 1, 20 through 23. So before we do that, let's go and pray first. Father, please forgive us for our sins, past, present, future. And God, I pray, Father, may you bring an abundance of knowledge, God, to us today, Father. May we understand your word fuller today, God. And may we feel your love and may your Holy Spirit, Father, fill this place, God, today. In Jesus Christ, my name, I proclaim these things. In Jesus' name, I pray for my friend, uh, for my friend Brad and his brother, God. They're in New York. His brother got burned a fire. In Jesus' name, and I pray, God, that your hand be over him, Father. In Jesus' name, and I know, God, that... Uh, I know that your love, God, is pouring down upon them, Father, and upon every person who's going through any kind of illness, God. I pray, Father, may your hand be over us, Father, in Jesus' name, as we come and seek your word today. In Jesus' name, we pray, and all God's people said, Amen. And if you guys would also, uh, real quick, I just want to say, because my friend uh, Brad and his family in New York, uh, his brother, uh, Matthew, he got uh, into a grease fire, and he has third degree and second degree burns over his body. And um, uh, if I would make a prayer request, I would ask if, if you guys would like to pray, help me pray for uh, my friend. Um, he actually even has a GoFundMe page. Um, I'll put the link in the description just in case if you guys are interested in doing that. Um, but prayer is really what we need. Like, that's the strongest thing you could do. So, uh, now that that's been said, let's go ahead and get into uh, Genesis Day 5 of Creation. We're going to go and read Genesis 1, 20 through 23. So here we go. And God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every sort of fish and every kind of bird. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Let the fish multiply and fill the oceans. Fill the birds, or let the birds increase and fill the earth. This all happened on the fifth day. But the question is, how many different kinds of birds and fish are there in the world today? No? Uh, the American Museum of Natural History suggests that there are about 18,000 bird species in the world today. And according to National Geographic, there are about 32,000 different fish species in the world today. So, isn't it amazing? Isn't it not, is it not amazing how creative God is in creating all these things. Look how much fish are there. 18,000 uh, different birds and 32,000 different species of fish. God is so creative in how he makes such a variety of animals uh, with all different colors, all different functions, and so detailed in their appearance. And each one is unique with its own function and purpose. And God blessed both humans and animals and said, be fruitful and multiply. These different, and, um, these different categories of living creatures created by God are to live on earth together. He made the birds and the fish with their own purpose, and with their own function, and placed the birds in the air and the fish in the sea. These types of creatures are created to live with humanity, but yet they're also separate for a purpose because again, God is a God of purpose and plan and order. So they were not meant to hurt humanity. God creating the birds and the fish weren't meant to, weren't meant to hurt, uh, hurt or harm humanity. The birds and the fish were made to be lower in authority than humans, but they were still made with purpose and carry out the functions given to them by God. God gave everything a purpose. So let's go to Psalms 104, 24 through 28 and see how King David is in awe of God's creation. Go and go there real quick. Oh Lord, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here's the ocean vast and wide, teeming with life of every kind, both great and small. See the ships sailing along in Leviathan, which you have made to play in the sea. Every one of these depends on you to give them their food as they need it. When you supply it, they gather it. You open your hand to feed, to feed them, and they are satisfied. That is so beautiful 
and really it shows that all creation that all humanity from all humanity to all living creatures to even vegetation depends on God for life for just life now let's go back because I actually wanted to talk about talk a little bit more about the Leviathan a creature that God mentions in Job 41 through 41 12 through 34 let's go and turn to that and the King James Version calls it Leviathan, which is close to the original text. I'm reading it out of the NLT, and it calls it Crocodile, but we're going to use the term that the King James uses, and that's Leviathan, because it's more close to the original text, and I want to use the closest I can for the terms. So, here we go. I want to emphasize the tremendous strength of the Leviathan's limbs, and throughout its enormous frame, who can strip off its hide and who can penetrate its double layer of armor? Who could pry open its jaws? For its teeth are terrible. The overlapping scales on its back make a shield. They are close together so no air can get between them. They lock together so nothing can penetrate them. When it sneezes, it flashes light. Its eyes are like the red of dawn. Fire and sparks leap from its mouth. Smoke streams from its nostrils like steam from a boiling pot on a fire of dry rushes. Yes, its breath would kindle coals, for flames shoot from its mouth. The tremendous strength of its neck strikes terror wherever it goes. Its flesh is hard and firm, not soft and fat. Its heart is as hard as rock, as hard as a millstone. When it rises, the mighty are afraid gripped by terror no sword can stop it nor spear nor dart nor pointed shaft the leviathan to the leviathan iron is nothing but straw and bronze is rotten wood arrows cannot make it flee stone shot from a sling are as ineffective as straw clubs do no good and it laughs at the swish of javelins its belly is covered with scales as sharp as glass, and they tear up the ground as it drags through the mud. The Leviathan makes the water boil with its commotion, and it churns the deep. The water glistens in its wake. One would think the water has made what had turned white. There is nothing else so fearless anywhere on earth. Of all the creatures, it is the proudest, it is the king of beasts. Wow. So again, this shows God's wisdom and power and how life is dependent on Him. It says in Psalms 146, 5 through 6, But happy are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the one who made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He is the one who keeps every promise forever. And if you would like to receive this hope that is found in God alone, I would ask you to receive this prayer with me today. I would ask you to pray this prayer with me today. Uh, in Romans 10, 9, it says, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But you have to believe it and mean it when you pray it, and you come as you are right now, because God will open his arms to you no matter who you are, and you will receive eternal life. It says in Romans 10, 9, Everyone who calls, oh, 10, 13, Romans 10, 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Just come as you are right now. Just say this prayer with me right now. Just say this prayer. Dear Lord, I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you died for me on the cross, and on the third day, you rose again. I receive you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If you received that prayer today, if you received it, then I would have to say congratulations because you're gonna, you'll, you've are you received a companion that is closer than a, bro than a brother, than a friend. He'll be with you. God will be with you through the good and the bad. He's going to wrap his arms around you no matter what happens. He's going to strengthen you. He'll give you strength when you, you don't even realize where that strength came from. He will strengthen your heart. He will give you a peace and a calmness. And he is Jesus. And if you accepted him, I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus.
And if you liked uh, this message today, then I'd invite you to tune into my next video for Creation Day 6. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later. God bless.